Okay, so this is the opening solo of Don't Take Me Alive by Steely Dan. This is Larry Carlton on guitar. So let's take a look at this. First, he does this crazy thing. Now, if you could get this thumb over here, you could probably make a whole chord out of that, but it's really kind of tough to reach that whole thing. So it seems to me like I was listening to it, and it seems like he might just kind of let that G go when he goes in the... Because you got these other notes sustaining, so you kind of don't need to keep that. And this is like a G raised nine chord. So you got three, five, five, four, six, six. And then it holds and it feeds back a little bit before he goes. So that's two tens on the bottom doing a half step, kind of from an upwards position coming down to the eights. Then you're gonna go with those tens up and down half step. Little hammer on. So that can be a difficult bend until you get your first finger real strong to do those bends like that whole step bend with the first finger. So we got. So that was bend, bend without picking it, just pick it once. And then pick it one more time. So that 10 on the D string. So. So that was eight to 10 with a bend on the 10 to the eight down here. And then 11 pull off to the 10. So that's like a little half step bends coming from an up position down. So that's bend. So you got the 10 bending up, hitting the 11 underneath it, and back down. Then the little 11. So that was a second string whole step bends there. So we got. Now that was little 8 to 10 on the a G string. So that was the 8th fret of the G string bend. And then 10 to 12 up here in the A string. 10 to 8 there. So let's check it out again. So that's going up a C minor chord. And then we go to this 13 on the second string. Kind of a rake and then 11th fret. And then a little kind of a hammer on there. So you got two bends there in that 13. Three bends on the 11 there. So that's G string, you know, 10 up and eight and stuff. So we got. So we got eight to 10 on the A string. Hammer t uh, 10 to 12 on the D string to that 10 on the G string. Then you got eight, 10 and 12 to 10, 12 there. And then that's gonna be the last note of that measure. Then a new measure, this is kind of a fancy phrase here. So we got, and then this is gonna be the new measure starting on this 11. So that was 11 to 12, back to 11, pull off there to the 12, and then 13 to 15. And you pause for just a second there. So you got. So you got 13 to 15. So you got a little slide there. I don't know if I did that in the, the other take, but. It's either a hammer there or a slide. It could go either way. 
but you come down to the 17 after the 18 bend. So we got a 15 to 15, little 15 half step on the second string bends. Then we're gonna bend this 13. And then the last riff. You got 10 to 11. And then 12 on the third G string is gonna pull off to itself. 10 on the D string. So let's look at that last part. Okay, so we'll go through the whole thing one more time. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. We'll check you out later.